Hello, today I'm going to beeswax seal a handle. The handle of my Grant's Aradular Axe. When I was using it the other day on the Dickhead Survival video, it did occur to me that it had been a while between linseed oilings, and it actually does feel just like pretty normal dry timber right now. So I'd say it's been about a year or so since it got a full on treatment, so this time I thought I'd go with beeswax. Uh, I'll show you what you need to be able to do this. First of all, just some beeswax. Uh, this is made by Disney. I'm not sure if it's the Disney, I doubt it. Uh, it costs about $9 or something for a fair amount. Um, I'm anticipating to only use probably about a quarter of it or so to melt down. A multi-tool, you'll be dealing with hot things and a multi-tool is great for uh, grabbing impromptu pots when they are hot. Speaking of pots, you'll need a main pot that has a small amount of water in it and then you'll need a secondary pot which is smaller than the main pot that you can then submerge into the water. You'll need a means of applying heat to the bottom of the pot. I'm doing this outside so I'm going to use a portable uh, barbecue stove burner just so I don't have to do it inside and make a mess. I haven't done this before so it could be messy, I'm not sure. And then you need some means of applying the hot wax. I'm just going to use a tea towel with a couple of layers between myself and the wax and that should do the trick. I'm going to treat it a bit like warm linseed oil. Wax has a melting point of 60 degrees so whilst it would be unpleasant on the skin it's not going to outright scorch me. So there we are, it's um, been waxed, it's still got a few like bits that you can sort of just push off but once you get to all those you actually sort of have like a slightly, slightly tackier feel than a freshly oiled handle but it still definitely feels nice and smooth, sort of smooth enough to use and roll your hands up and down so just time will tell I guess which I end up preferring. Um, but yeah, it's um, a matter of just applying the, axes evenly, the wax to the axe as evenly as you can and then uh, just sort of working it in a little bit just with your with your fingers and your thumbs and your your palms and whatnot so there you go um, completely waterproof I would suggest and um, pretty uh, element proof as well so that's a nice little video I hope you enjoy see you later